Hello, my name is Dominic Underhall House and welcome to another episode of Moonbreaker. In today's video, we've got a really quick one for you and it's just showing you one of the awesome new features of the experimental server. That's something that a couple of you might have seen in Discord, but I really can't wait to show this to you. It's really exciting for anyone who really likes the art side of things or the painting. And also it's going to make for some amazing screenshots as well. So what we've got is an updated painting screen. So I'm just going to pick a unit that's fairly straightforward like Maximus. We're going to go to paint and you'll notice there's a couple of options up here. Now this default section, I thought initially, clicking between the two of these, it does look like there's just a slight difference in lighting, and I was trying to figure out quite what that part was. But we'll get back to that in a moment. What you, The main thing I want to show you is there's now these two things here. We've got skybox and environment. So obviously these have got the same control, so don't worry about that for the moment. And what we've got, the first thing we can do is basically show off your model in a whole new light. So if you first we look at the skybox, there we go. How amazing is that? You can look at your unit with an actual, you know, sky environment all around you. It's super cool. And you know, when you get to you know, painting and things like that, I really like the idea of just being able to you know, work your way through that. I'm not sure if you can do that and uh, paint at the same time. Let's have a look. There we go. So we can now paint in this amazing little environment here. So. We wanted to do ourselves a Maximus, get all that paint over there. We can do so with an awesome backdrop of the sky. But not only that, if we take away the sky, we can also do it on a painter's table. So here we go, an actual little modeling table, which is amazing. I absolutely love it. I think that's a really, really cool look. You can make it feel like you're on your own desk at home. You've got your actual little environment here. Hang on. That says Charlie's Craft Hurricane series. That's amazing. If you don't know, Charlie Cleveland is the uh, say the game director, the lead of the studio, who's a oh, sorry, the developer who's making Moonbreaker. And have we got anything else over here that might be another little thing? So I can't see what those say, but I love the uh, the Charlie's Craft there. That's awesome. I got, maybe there's a there's a part of me was hoping that would be like was it four five four six B, which is the uh, the planet from. Uh, the planet from uh, Subnautica, which is the other, you, my favourite other game, basically, that they've done. Uh, the other thing to bear in mind is you can do both of these at once. So, you can paint on a desk in the middle of the sky. Now, after a little bit of fiddling, I did realise as well what this does, is it actually changes what the skybox and the environment are. So there's an entirely second setting. So we can go to the skybox here. It looks a little bit, you know, off in terms of resolution. I'm sure this will be something that we looked at at some point but if you look I think this is a uh, yeah this is one of the maps so we've actually got you know the map we've got this hole in the middle over here there's one captain spawn there there's one there and a little gap between the two how cool is that to have that but if you want to make it a little bit more uh, you know homey there we go we've got a little painters environment as well so we've actually got a little display pedestal for our units this is amazing. This is the first step towards getting dioramas and the fact that this moves as well. Like, who wouldn't want to share this? I do think that this needs to actually be toggleable as well, come to think of it. But as a first attempt into this sort of thing, this is amazing. And I love it that we're kind of hidden in the map as well. So there we are. If you want to show off all of your paint jobs on the experimental server, obviously don't spend too much time painting them. They won't transfer across to the live one. But there's a really awesome little set of tools here that you can now just mess around with and just you know, make your own little models and even just check out this. I wouldn't be surprised if we see some of these in the future with also more Easter eggs in there as well. So really great little change. Thank you to whoever came up with this. This is a really, really fun feature. If you've enjoyed this video, please do go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know in the comments how you're going to be using this, what backdrops you'd most like to see. For me, I'd love to see some things using the Cherodek Excavation site and using like the heads and things from there. I think that would be awesome. But all in all, I'm just really excited to see what you guys can come up with. So please do just you know, go ahead, follow all those like, things down below, like, subscribe, comment, all the nonsense everyone says every single time. But most importantly, thank you for watching and have a good day.